I'm so excited for you. And you let me clarify, I'm getting to know everybody as well. And I'm so excited that God allowed you to work, come alongside me and partner in this. This is co-laboring together. But let me make sure I'm correct. You're new to the prophetic, which is so awesome. I'm excited about that. If that's true, just say yes, which is awesome. Hey, Gary, I miss you. Miss all the guys from California. Can't wait to see what the Lord's going to do in your life. I'm just giving time. You might be the only two that are alive. Some people had a very busy schedule. If you're playing the replay, I just know that the Holy Spirit's going to touch you in a mighty way and that you're going to get just as much playing it in your own schedule. So that's the great thing about webinars. It's so convenient. And um, I just feel the presence of the Lord on me right now. And I'm just going to pray over you guys. I'm going to give a few more minutes for anybody else that's coming live that may need to log in. I got some teaching I'm going to do. And Angie, you might not know this. I know Gary does. I am definitely a prophet that does a lot of inner healing and deliverance. I've done a lot of sessions with people. And so I can't ever separate myself from the deliverer. It's just part of the prophetic mantle that I have. And so there's some very specific prayers of covering that I'm just going to be praying over this webinar. And you'll just have to trust the leadership ability inside of me. You might not understand all these prayers, but I have came against witches and warlocks and voodoo and witchcraft. So I really just really want to cover it. The webinar and prayers and it's nothing to be concerned about or scared it's just a place of leadership that i just want to take authority so that we have no um lag in the the news feed the live feed or any um harassment with power going out i've seen some some stuff over the years so i'm just excited i see the third person logging in if you can say who you are and if you just log in to see if it's working and you're busy, that's fine too. I'm getting ready to start here in a few minutes. I'm going to pray over the people watching and the praying over the people as they replay. Mm, thank you, Lord. I've just felt the Holy Spirit on this. This was the Holy Spirit's idea, so you can give him credit. I was driving down the road, and I um, will talk more about the office of a prophet versus prophetic ministry, but I am... I see a prophet, and I also do um, Nabi prophetic words and a static pro prophecy, and I will be teaching on that just a little bit briefly. If you don't know what all that means, I'm just sharing briefly, letting everybody log in. But this webinar, I saw a picture, and, and it was in the seer realm, and it was Emerging Prophet. And so the Lord told me to go to the Emerging Prophet Conference, and they released a new mantle on me in the spirit realm. And the Lord said, everything I picked up there, I'm going to be imparting and sharing with you guys. So that's really awesome. Just like Elijah and Elisha imparted the mantle, we all need to be equipped in our calling and mantled for it. So I think that's everybody. Um, 601, I guess I'll give two or three more minutes. If you have anything you want to ask, you can ask. If uh, I don't know who the third person is, log in there. You can say hi. Or you can say whatever you like. I see somebody else. I'm glad you're excited, Angie. I'm glad you're excited, Gary. Got some books. Somebody asked, think of you, Angie, about some book recommendations. I can definitely do that for the prophetic. That might be the next thing I'm working on. Oh, that's my husband. Hi, honey. <laughs> he was the third person. <laughs> so I'm just going to wait a few more seconds. 6.02. I'm going to pray over you guys. I'm going to activate you. You guys that are actually live will do some activation. I want to have you um, move in with the gifts of the Holy Spirit before we get off here. And just allow you to release some prophetic too. Because the more you practice on each other is what I call it. So it doesn't sound so scary. Because you know how the enemy tries to intimidate prophetic words sometimes. So I want you to be able to release some words to each other. You can share each other's emails, phone numbers, whatever you feel led to do. All right. One more minute. <laughs> I'm just excited to see what God's going to do in your life. As I um, was asking the Holy Spirit about this webinar, too, I just seen my prophetic mantle covering all you guys. 
So that's exciting. You're just going to get impartation for sowing into the anointing that he has put on my life. It's all Holy Spirit. So it's exciting. All right. Let's just go ahead and pray. If you don't understand all this, Angie, just, just trust me. I just want to cover you in the spirit realm. And so, Father God, I just declare right now, we just fly in the third eye over all communication. We just shut down any crystal balls. We just pop them with the blood of Jesus Christ right now. We forbid any disturbances in the spirit realm. As we study this webinar, as we grow in the prophetic Papa, we just declare right now there's confusion to the enemy's camp. We put the Holy Spirit fire on the airwaves in communication, Lord. We just forbid any confusion, confusion, any harassment in the people's lives that are trying to learn and grow in the prophetic. I cancel every assignment in the spirit realm right now. I just declare breakthrough over their life. I just felt the spirit of breakthrough come in. Whoa, so I just release breakthrough right now. Right now, I just see many of you have been through a lot. The Lord has shown me people have been through a lot because of the warfare of being called to the office of a prophet or moving in the prophetic. So I just see him breaking that off. Even as you log in, there's a refreshing coming to you right now. And to say, Holy Spirit, let the glory and the presence of God pour over them and refresh them. Even the weight of the last season, I see the weight. This is a new season by signing up for this webinar. The weight of the last season's coming off. Thank you, Jesus. I just declare breakthrough. I just see strongholds coming down as well. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Well, there's a few things also the Lord, um, some of these people might not be live, but the Lord showed me some very specific things that I needed to break off of people so they can step into their gifting. So here again, I'm an inner healing and deliverance prophetic mantle. So I need to do some inner healing and deliverance so that the people that are on here can be set free to walk in their gifting. I just seen the Lord showed me that, that some of the things that have happened to you have hindered your prophetic gifting. So as I pray, you don't have to say yes, or you can say yes, whatever you feel comfortable with but I've just established a relationship with the Holy Spirit that I trust him when he gives me words that I have to release them. And if somebody doesn't respond, doesn't necessarily mean that it's not there. They just might not be comfortable sharing this wound publicly, which is okay, fine with me, but I just want to be obedient to what he showed me. So if it is you, you can receive the healing or the breakthrough you need to move and experience to be able to let your gift prophetically be able to flow from your mouth. So the Lord showed me um, there was somebody struggling with a lot of disappointment in the last season, that it was very heavy. It almost like created a grief in your heart. So Lord, I just break off all the debridement of the last season that put disappointment in your heart. I just break any assignment or any spirit of disappointment and I command it out. I just declare the love of God over your heart. And, and if you're prophetic, I have to break rejection off. A lot of prophets, we were made, we're wired differently. So a lot have suffered rejection. And that's the number one thing that'll sh shut your gift down. So I just break any rejection, whether it be in the womb. Whoa. Whoa. I just see some people even receive the spirit of rejection in their mother's womb. So I just break every assignment. Whoa. I just release a mother's blessing. Blessing over every month in the womb right now and I command every root of rejection out and I just declare breakthrough and the triggers of rejection thank you father he also showed me I'm just looking at my notes here um, mm, to cancel every assignment of Jezebel. Now, some people might know what Jezebel is. If you don't, that's okay. We're going to talk about it in the webinar. She operates out of witchcraft and a spirit of divination, but it's manipulation and control. Basically, there's a lot more stuff you could come to know it, know about that spirit, but it shuts the prophets down. It shuts prophetic down. They release word curses accusation and somebody on here has had really heavy accusation in their life and the lord said whoa mm. the lord said just to break it break it 
So, Father God, I just declare all Jezebel witchcraft to be broken off your mind right now in the name of Jesus. All the word curses, all the slander. Mm. Whoa, the Lord's even showing me that that was an assignment to get you to quit prophesying. I don't know the, who that's for, but take it and just, we cancel it, come out of agreement with anything that, that anybody has spoke over you that's not in line with the Word of God. This was even a person of authority. So I just break that. Whoa. I just release the inner healing anointing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whoa. We just break it. I just feel the breaker shifting out right now. I just declare you're more than an overcomer. <laughs> you're a conqueror in Jesus Christ. Your identity is found in him. I come against every word curse that has spoke even from childhood even from a very young age i just break that assignment right now whoa just release your inner healing anointing papa thank you lord just making sure also he told me to break any um python spirit which i'll explain that one kind of needs to be a little detailed explanation which is another webinar but I want to activate you this webinar I want you flowing I want you stepping out in the prophetic I want you to be able to step into the office of the prophet if that's what you're called to and I just want to be able to allow you to move in that so some of you have experienced the Python spirit a lot of times it will come with heaviness a lot of attacks on your mind but you cannot breathe you will feel like you cannot breathe. Now there can be, I'm not saying everything is a Python spirit, but by being a prophetic voice, that thing is relentless with trying to choke what God has in his life and what he wants to do in your life. So we just cut off and sever the head of any Python spirit that could be coming against your voice. We command your lungs to be able to breathe deep. We forbid any more counterattacks, retaliation, harassment for doing this webinar. And I just thank you, Lord, that even anybody diagnosed with asthma, we just cancel that assignment. We just break any rejection that could bring that in or any Python that's working with that spirit to be able to shut your prophetic gift down. And we just declare breakthrough in the area of your breathing. That was something the Lord just really put heavy on my heart. Um, let me make sure I got it. And he said, I just remove any curse of hoodwinked. Whoa. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, some people might not understand that as well. It's an occultic curse they put to be able to veil your eyelids so you cannot see in the spirit if you're called to be a seer prophet. And so it just hinders to be able to hear the voice of God. So I just, Lord, I just thank you and I bless everyone that's coming on right now. I just thank you, Father God. I just declare justice to all their hardships. I have just, I just know by the spirit that there has been, there's people on this webinar that have been through a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of trauma, a lot of uh, violent situations, a lot of heartache. Um, it comes with the calling. The enemy hates it. And, and once you start stepping out and stepping in, it's like vindication. It's like grace. It's like stepping toward and taking back the ground, which the enemy has tried to take in your life. So, Lord, I just declare that justice will be served. We just come. I just come as an intercessor. Our prophet is also an intercessor. I love to intercede for cities, nations, people as the spirit leads. But I just stand in the gap for any accusation that the enemy could be used in the courts of heaven to hinder your gift. I just repent for anything. Whoa. We just move that file to grace right now. And we just declare the grace and the blood of Jesus Christ is covering that sin right now. And the voice of the accuser is shut down. So it cannot hinder the way you think. It cannot hinder your assignment that the Lord has given you. I just thank you, Lord. All right. I think we're ready to get into the teaching. The Lord gave me some amazing scriptures that I hope um, you guys will really relate to. I don't know how much of the word um, that people get into nowadays but if not i just i'm not condemning i just say that with a mother's heart as i read these scriptures and you go back and read them i think they're going to become more alive in your heart and also the more you get in the word even if it's just half a chapter a day if that's all you have time for i'm not saying that's the best but i'm saying if that's all you got time for i understand sometimes people work 70 hours a week and they don't have time to get in the word they'll 
the way they want to. But as you step into that, you, it, you hear from God so much simpler. The prophetic gift, just studying those little bit of scriptures breathes life into your bones. So I would, even if you put a daily app, the Lord showed me some of you could use a daily app to just get, um, mm, Father, I just release your power and your presence over the people, the glory, the manifested glory. As they study this, I just release that you're going to remove the barriers of the prophetic out of their mind. I just release the love of the Father. I will be prophesying out of a mother's heart. I am not an old school prophet. I don't agree with that. Everything's in light of the new covenant and the new Testament. And I won't be exposing sin or any of that. I just am here to equip and to love the people that are in this webinar. So I just want you to feel safe. Some people have been abused by the prophetic and um, it's really caused wounds of people exposing stuff that was not supposed to be said by the prophet. It was supposed to be intercessed intercession so I just want to make that clear I want everybody to feel safe but I'm just thinking thinking the Lord that revelation is going to flood into you as I read these verses and as you study them on your own so some of the verses he gave me was 1 Corinthians 12 1 through 13 that was the first passage and I'm going to go ahead and read that and you can replay this if you miss anything um, now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be unaware. You know that when you were pagans, you were led astray to dumb idols, however you were led. Therefore, I have made known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God says Jesus is a curse, and no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but of the same Spirit, and there are varieties of ministries in the same Lord. And there are varieties of effects, but the same God who works all things in all person. But to each one is given the manifestation of the Spirit, Holy Spirit, for common good. For one to, is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, another the word of knowledge according to the Spirit, another faith by the same Spirit, and to another gifts of healing by the, by the one Spirit and to another effect of miracles, and to another prophecy. I'll camp out here for a second, and I'll continue to read the passage. Prophecy is a gift of the Holy Spirit. Every believer can operate in the prophetic gifting. Now, if you are not filled with the Spirit, I'll be glad to pray. You can share that publicly on here, and we'll invite the Holy Spirit to come in, or I can do it privately. Just let me know. I'm here to make people feel safe and feel comfortable. Not everybody wants to share that. But so if you're filled and you want to step into prophecy, it is the gift of the Holy Spirit. We'll continue reading and then I'll, I'll distinguish some more the differences of prophetic ministry and the office of a prophet. And to another, the distinguishing of spirits, which I also operate in. So I will be imparting that to you guys as well. And the Holy Spirit will only give what you're called to walk in. He's not going to force a gift on you, but he, he just wants me to equip y'all with everything that can make you successful. To another, various kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. But one and the same Spirit works all things, distributing to each one individually as he wills. For even as the body is one and yet has many members, all of the members of the body, they are, they are many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit we were baptized into one body. So right here was talking about the Holy Spirit and the prophetic gift. Then you move over, and I'm going to take you to one more um, scripture about prophecy before we go into the office of the prophet and it gave me first corinthians 14 verses 1 through 5 pursue love yet desire earnestly desire earnestly that's the only key desire earnestly spiritual gifts if you want and you've never prophesied before desire earnestly god is the good father he never withholds gift he will freely and openly give you the gift of prophecy but especially that you may prophesy I don't know very many places in scripture what it says especially that you may prophesy that means the Lord has high value on prophetic ministry for one who speaks in tongues in a tongue does not speak to men but to God for one who understands 
but in his spirit he speaks mysteries. But one who prophesies speaks to men for edification, exhortation, and consolation. I'm reading from the NASB version, so it may be a little different. I have to enunciate some of these words. But um, right here it says, prophecy speaks to men. So prophetic ministry should not be exposing sin, exposing character flaws or weakness. I, I just I've seen that abused. If if it's happened to you, I just say I just repent for whoever abused you in that way. Just forgive them and move on. But if you're going to prophesy and you see, let's, I'm going to use an example. You release a prophetic word and you say you see somebody's not treating their spouse. I'm just using this as an example. You see that they're not being a great wife. The Lord shows you they're just really dishonoring and disrespecting, and that's all you see. So you say, okay, Lord, what is your heart for this person? You just ask the Holy Spirit. All right, Holy Spirit, I thank you that this person encounters your love. I'm just going to use the name. I think I'm going to use the name Bob. Okay, Holy Spirit, I just thank you that Bob encounters your love. And you just put a new heart in him, the heart of the Father. I just thank you that this person is able to edify and build up their wife because they are just experiencing the love of the Father. And the Father is transforming their heart. And I just see you being tender and meeting your wife's needs and whatever the Holy Spirit shows you. So whatever he gives you, prophesy out of a heart of what the scripture says, edification, exhortion, exhortion, and consolation. One who speaks in tongues edifies himself, but one who prophesies edifies the church. So I just see how the Holy Spirit values prophecy right here. It edifies the church, and it's so needed. Unfortunately, the Jezebel spirit, which I will go into more detail down the road, uh, likes to let controlling spirits wound the prophets in the church. So they cannot prophesy, they cannot edify, and that shuts down the wind and breath of God in a lot of churches, unfortunately. Now, not every church, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying anything negative against the churches of Jesus Christ. I just think that strongholds need to come down about the prophetic because I, I, the more I have stepped out in the gift, the more the Holy Spirit has given me and the more I feel the heart of the Father for the people that need the prophetic words. There are hurting people out there that have been through a lot. Let me finish your scripture too. Now I wish you all spoke in tongues, but even more, and this is what amazes me. This is 1 Corinthians 14, 5. Now I wish that you all spoke in tongues, but even more that you would prophesy. And greater is one who prophesies the one who speaks in tongues unless he interprets so that the church may receive edification. And I would even put in there, there's lots of scriptures about prophecies. I just want to make sure I can cover everything in the webinar. But I would add in there, greater is he that prophesies as he even speaks to a person because we are the temple. We are the church. You know, we're the temple of the Holy Spirit. So I think this applies not to just prophesying to the church, and people in the church, but I release a lot of prophetic words on the streets. And uh, some of you guys are that are on this webinar have been doing this for years, and some people are new. So I'm trying to cover a facet variety, and the first webinar is really laying a foundation to some of this because there's a lot of confusion. Do I have office of a prophet? Am I called to an office of a prophet? What is the differences in the prophetic ministry and the offices of of a prophet. There's tons of people that are confused about that. So this is really foundational. And you guys can ask questions in the middle of this. Um, that's fine. If I don't get to everybody's questions, there is a 15 second delay. So if I don't get to your question or, or I'm focused on teaching and miss something, I can always, I'll comment to you or the replayers. You're welcome to ask questions and I will get to them when I can. Everybody's questions will be covered. If I don't have the answer, I'll ask Holy Spirit, the one who knows it all, and he will give me the answer because he is faithful. So I just want to throw that out there in case there's anything I say that y'all need clarity on. At the end of reading this, I'm going to break down very simply the difference in the prophetic gift and the office of a prophet. But I just want to show you some scriptures as a foundation so that you can study these scriptures on your own and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal anything else to you. Or if you don't know, 
I can see by the Lord who has a calling of, of a prophet office and who has the calling of prophetic, but I kind of want you to be able to seek the Lord a little bit so you can grow. It's not always about the gift. It's about knowing Jesus Christ and knowing the Father. So in, in reading these passages too, he can make it very clear to you, you have the prophetic gift, you have the prophet office. And so I love to give people a reason to interact with the Father and, and just allow Jesus to become more real to them. So the scripture he gave me for the office of a prophet, and some of these, as I read, some of you are like, oh no, I don't want to try to figure it out. As I read these descriptions, you're going to know. And some of you may even have your own reasons of how you found out what your call and gift is. We're going to open the thread up. It should be open for you to be able to share and comment and get to know each other because prophetic community is key. It's a safe place. This is a safe place. I really just try to walk out of our culture of honor. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He, he reminded me. I just want to walk out of culture of honor here. I just thank you that anything anybody shares on this webinar, I just ask that it please stay on this webinar. I just want to be able to keep it, even if you get a prophetic word, because we're going to be prophesying to each other. This is going to be total activation. And I'm going to stretch your gift. You know, you're going to have assignments and it's going to make you grow really fast in the prophetic. But as you do this, just honor and respect. Don't reveal anything. Thing the Lord with like phone call a friend well today at the webinar I know most of you and none of you would do that I just want to cover that I want people to feel safe or if there's something major that you don't want to share the group you could always email me my emails posted some of you have done inner healing and deliverance sessions with me so you have my phone number but um, just walk in honor I believe each one of you will Ooh, Holy Spirit, just continue to release your presence on them. It's so thick right now. Thank you, Lord. All right, let me go back to 1 Corinthians 27. Now you are Christ's body and individual members of it. And God has appointed. So this is not a gift of the Holy Spirit anymore. God has appointed the church. First apostles, second prophets. So I will say it one more time, and then I'll, I'll go over the differences at the end of the scripture. God appoints prophets. It's not a prophetic gift of the Holy Spirit that every believer can walk in. Third, teachers, then miracles, then gifts of healing, helps of administration, various kinds of tongues. So there we've covered a lot on the gift of the prophet on, on prophecy. And so I'm going to read the column of the prophetic gifting. So just think about this. Think if this sounds like you. Then I will read the column about an office of a prophet. And then you can look into your life and say, hmm, which one is it, Holy Spirit? And if you can't, really can't figure it out by the end of this class, I will tell you. But I really want you to seek the Lord. And some of you guys already know. I just want to allow the, the people to grow in their relationship with Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit. Because Holy Spirit may want to show you something amazing about your gift. There's different types of office of prophets as well. Some do deliverance. Some don't. Some are governmental. So I don't want to limit. I want you to always pursue with a relationship with the Father. The goal of this is just to come along and equip you and help try to bring some clarity because I've seen a lot of confusion in the prophetic. And when I started prophesying, I didn't know where to start. And so I had to pray for training, go for training, get activated. And, and I'm just allowing Holy Spirit to use me as a mouthpiece to get you activated, get you flying, support you in any way I can, and just allow you to move freely in your giftings. When we do our equipping um, ministry at the house, if you come and you have a prophetic word, you're allowed to release it. If you're coming and you feel a word of knowledge for somebody's healing, you're allowed to release it. So I want this webinar to be free. If you get a word for me or my husband or my son or, or somebody in the group, this is not about control. Some of you could totally already be operating in this. I want you to feel free to, if it's something private, please email me and not post it on the thread. But um, just I just want you to use your gift. And when you're new at this, the more you use it, I'm going to activate you at the end. You're going to be able to flow in higher levels of it. And he is faithful. It's just like the healing anointing. Every prophetic person is different. Every prophet is different. Just like everybody moves in a healing gift different. It's no different than all the other gifts. There's different styles of deliverance ministry. There's different styles of prophetic people. There's different styles of healing ministers. They all have some degree and measure. But we just love to honor and respect 
the different um, ways that people flow in the prophetic. I may have a few special guests on here to release prophetic words over your life as well that'll flow differently than me. But I love teamwork. I love the culture of honor. I love allowing people to um, flow in their gifts. All right. So the prophecy gift, this is the one that is by the Holy Spirit. If you move in the prophetic, I know people that can prophesy for four hours straight and, and not even barely take a breath. It's like second nature to them. They just prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. But it's the gift of the Holy Spirit. They're just very prophetic. Every believer is exhorted to prophesy. So this gift, prophetic gift, is one of the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. It is for some of these stuff we have already covered. I'm just trying to make it really cut and dry so you'll know which category you fit in. It is for edification, exhortion, and comfort. So the role of prophetic, that is the major difference in that and a prophet. And we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Prophetic ability is a gift. So there again, it's just reiterating. It's a gift of the Holy Spirit. It is a gift, which is a little bit different than the office of a prophet. And the prophetic gifting is a gift for life. Now, he's not going to use your tongue, make you open your mouth, and make you prophesy. you got to partner with Holy Spirit. you got to step out like walk in the plank. I remember, I have to, the Holy Spirit said, just be real on this webinar. So y'all are getting me totally raw. When I first started prophesying, it was probably about two years ago, I was like terrified. I was like, oh my gosh, what if I miss it? Da, 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 da. What if, they'll call me a false prophet. That's not what a false prophet is. False prophet is serving a different God. There's a difference in a learning curve. So I want y'all to feel safe than a false prophet. A learn, learning curve is growing in your gift, learning how to flow in the prophetic, releasing the word. And our assignments will be ones that I can help you with and help you. If you miss anything, don't be afraid. This isn't about, you know, testing your gift. This is about growing and equipping in the prophetic. And I remember some of the words when I first let, started prophesying, they were very, very small and just really stretched me. Most of them were in the marketplace, but not all of them. Some were in churches, and then God started having me prophesy over leaders. I'm not going to mention any name of leaders, but a lot of times the Lord has sent me everywhere I go. He usually gives me a word for the leader just because I've been faithful in stepping out and giving what the Lord has given me. But he also, um, like I said, this gift is for life. So that is the prophecy gift prophetic ministry. Now we're going to go over to the right, which is an office of the prophet. As we read scripturally, the prophet office is a gift from Christ. It is not a gift of the Holy Spirit. God chooses the prophet. We don't have a choice. Now we can partner in it and walk in it, but God chooses it. Sometimes I believe as you contend and hunger for that office, it's already been there and it just was never activated. Nobody ever mantled you. Nobody ever prayed over you, but it's still there. It's just been a dormant area of your life. So just remember that God chooses the prophetic office and it has a different sphere of authority than the prophetic ministry. Prophets under the apostles have way different amounts of authority than somebody just called to the prophetic ministry. Not that we don't have his authority as a believer because we all have the authority, but when you have a prophet mantle, you're a leader. So you're called to intercession. That's another role of the office of a prophet. You will intercede for cities. You will intercede for people. You will intercede for nations. That comes with the prophetic office because you, whether you're a seer prophet or a Nabi prophet, we'll get into that a little bit later, but how you receive your information of God, you will see and hear what God is doing. And the prophetic ministry is to edify, exhort, comfort, lift people up, natural encourager, but the office of a prophet has way more roles of leadership than the prophetic gifting. A prophet is usually to direct, correct, warn, govern, and equip. So a prophet will equip other people to prophesy. They love to equip. They will equip other um pastors, whatever the Holy Spirit leads them to, they're just called to equip in the prophetic ministry or the office of a prophet. They will govern. They will warn. I've seen lots of prophets release a warning for America to intercede. I know friends of mine that release words so that we can intercede and pray. Sometimes they direct. Some people want direction. Sometimes the Lord will give me download. Well, this is what you need to do. 
And it's, it's the whole, I still rely on the Holy Spirit as well. Don't, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Even in the office of a prophet, you're totally reliant on Holy Spirit. But the weight in the spirit realm is just a little bit more into like leadership role, whereas the whole church can walk in the gift of prophecy. Also, this person is a part of a fivefold gift. It's not just the ability to prophesy it's a it's part of the five-fold office that god has governed for the church to operate how it's supposed to be now unfortunately god is now prophetically taking the churches and getting them back in order the lord showed me i'll just share this with you guys and, and please don't share anything um out of this webinar because these are these are very precious to my heart and, and a lot of you guys know that I just totally love Jesus with all my heart, but he showed me the design against the church was to wipe out and disguise. Uh, you hear the teaching where apostles and prophets, people say they no longer exist. Well, that was Satan's biggest lie. It's because you're wiping out the authority of the church. That was totally a design of the enemy to lead people into deception to where the people that had the most authority in the spirit realm were out of the way. The Lord showed me this plain as day. It so grieved my heart. And so I know the Lord is getting the church in order. He's calling apostles. He's calling pastors to be able to walk with apostles, walk with prophets, and get the, the church back in order because this allows such a freedom in the spirit and not one of those old apostles or prophets that hoard it over people please don't hear that there's been so much abuse with i'm an apostle i'm a prophet respect me blah, blah, blah. that's just pride we can't walk in pride that's not what the father wants the father wants us to know our office if you have this office because you will have a specific grace on your life not to just title yourself a prophet blah 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 but to allow the grace of the holy spirit to help you to flow in that office because when you're called to it the grace is automatically assigned to your life but if you don't know, you don't even step into the grace that's already there as a gift that, that Christ has chosen you for. Um, the calling is also for life. So both of these, the calling is for life, whether it's prophetic or the office of a prophet. But just remember, the Holy Spirit is the gift of prophecy. A prophet is chosen by God. And the, the major differences are prophecies to edit, comfort, and exhort. Whereas a prophet governs, equips, warns, directs, corrects. And sometimes the Lord will just show me a, a slight correction somebody needs to make in their life. But we, I say it out of love. I don't say it like out of judgment or out of, hey, you're doing something wrong. It's no. It's We all need each other. We're here to partner with each other to help the kingdom advance. I mean, that's the ultimate goal of the prophetic gifting. That's the ultimate goal of the office of the prophet is to partner with Holy Spirit or partner with God and say, and what are your plans? What are the, What is the prophetic word you have for this person? What is, you know, my role as, as a prophet? What do you desire for me to have and to walk in? Tamara said, I'm at work. I will have to catch you tonight. Love you. Love you too, lady. Like I said, the replay can be played anytime. I'm going to save these on here to the very end. And you can ask questions. You can email them to me. Just feel free to interact to whatever the Holy Spirit gives you. Um, <laughs> I just wrote down the Holy Spirit has a very high value on the prophetic unction as well as a person called to the office of the prophet. So don't just think, well, I'm more important because I'm called to the office of prophet. I've seen people do that. It's so much, it's so prideful. It, it just disgusts me because that's not the heart of the father. If you're in a, place of leadership as a prophet or as apostle, a pastor, a teacher, an evangelist. If you're in a place of leadership, you got to go low. Your, your job as a prophet is, and an apostle is to just walk and go low and wash the leader's feet. Now, a lot of you know me. I do walk in, in a dual role. I am uh, an apostle. I walk very high in the breaker anointing, but I also have a very strong prophetic office. And so I don't say that to Lord that over you in any way, shape, or form because that has done been done for many years. But my job is to equip the saints, love the saints, serve the saints. 
That's when an apostle washes feet. You wash the wounds. I've done inner healing and deliverance with leaders. I like come there and then the Lord's like, do inner healing and deliverance. I'm like, what the leaders, Lord? And he's like, yes. So I just want to share, don't lord your office. If you are in the office, if you're in the prophetic, don't let it be puffed up with pride. Lord could give you address. He could give you names as you grow in this. You could be really, really, really prophetic and you could just take off and fly really fast. But just don't get prideful about it because the enemy loves to attack especially when you start getting very specific things so that's one of the things I always just ask Holy Spirit keep me low keep my heart soft and keep me low because he would love to take out some of your um, God-given talents and abilities through pride because it just pollutes just see pride as a toxin it just toxifies your whole system. It toxifies how you hear God. It toxifies how you prophesy. That's what the Lord is showing me. It's like a, I see like one of those old chemical, I'm a seer too. So here's an example. I see a chemical beaker, like in a chemistry lab. And we, you push pride in there, it just overflows and toxifies the whole beaker on the outside and just sludges it up. So I just, I'm very visual. Imagine that. So a lot of times God will give me pictures as a, a prophetic seer and the only reason I'm using these words so much is to teach you guys what I'm operating in so if you've never seen it before or haven't been around it a lot I'll tell you the Lord says this I'm seeing him say this just so you can see how he switches in and out of seeing things or saying things um, I just put they're both equally important in their function. We need prophetic people bad in the church. We love prophetic people. I love people to come here and prophesy because you're activating stuff in people's life. I mean, it's so powerful to be able to, most of the time a prophetic word is something you already know that God has given you, sometimes not, but most of the time is confirmation to what you already desired, what the Father already has for you, and now somebody's coming to you saying yes i see this in you you have this so a lot of times that's the way it works now if you're called to an office of a prophet you will also um commission leaders you will see their gifts you will see what they're called to walk in you'll promote growth and maturity and unity if you love to promote believers you love to promote unity if you love to see believers walk in maturity and in an office of a prophet you could call it like a black and white type person as well you you want things black and white right or wrong you have like this justice meter and sometimes you have to watch it because we can easily get mad we have the justice meter that was unjust that's not right but so we have to really just dial it in and let holy spirit crucify all of our flesh and learn to handle it in godly ways but they the justice meter you know you can see a situation and you feel it rising up inside of you you're more than likely in the office of a prophet um, it's like Moja, Moses commissioned Joshua I'll go places and the Lord will show me hey you need to commission this one is an apostle commission their gifts higher that happened at one of our our group meetings um, the Lord spoke to my husband and said you're an apostle you need to activate and, and pour into the apostolic gift that he has okay the prophetic ministry you know you'll notice other people that have a call to the prophetic it's just something natural obviously you'll grow in it you may not know it at first if the office is new to you but it, it will be pretty fast I guarantee it they also prophesy future events if you're in the office of a prophet take a sip of water real quick don't want to sound squeaky with you guys but um prophetic people often this doesn't exactly apply just to the office of a prophet prophetic people will get words of knowledge or words of wisdom so if you're prophetic that might flow very natural for you somebody needs to know something and you'll pass them and be like hey the Lord's showing me this, and you just start prophesying out of it. So that's another value of the prophetic ministry to know. And if you've never gotten a word of knowledge or a word of wisdom for somebody, just start asking the Holy Spirit to give them to you because he is faithful. He, I'm telling you, this is his heart. When I was preparing this information, it's like he showed me the exact order. He, I just felt the Father's heart. 
to see you activated. <laughs> He's reminding me, somebody very special gave this to me as well. It's a prophetic act at the end. We'll talk about prophetic acts. So if y'all wonder, I won't mention any names unless that person wants me to know, but um, it's a prophetic act that I'm standing on some stuff that the Lord showed me, but I will talk about prophetic acts. And the Holy Spirit reminded me, share about that. So that's why I'm wearing this, but God is good. Prophets will often see and activate other people. They will intercede for nations. I think we've covered all this. Um, I just put prophet, prophetic people are partnering with the Holy Spirit. So you need, really need to rely on the Holy Spirit to steward the gift. I tell you, especially if you seek the Lord by prayer, if you seek the Lord and just position yourself, say, Lord, I just give me a prophetic word for my mom. I'm just using that as an example. You're positioning yourself and you're stealing your mind down. A lot of people that we're going to go over specific hindrances in more detail in one whole webinar, but a lot of times it's just saying, okay, mind, slow down. What does the Lord see? If you're a seer prophet or if you're moving in the prophetic, what is the Lord saying? What is the Lord saying about this person? And just quiet everything and just relax. And, and the words will just flow naturally. The more you use it, the more it will grow. I'm going to give examples on mistakes I've made in the, in the prophetic gift. And also when I stepped out, what are some things that I did to help grow? And what are things I did right in the prophetic gift? I know um, the Holy Spirit always meets us where our faith level is. Everybody, It says... You'll prophesy in part. So some people prophesy names, dates, social security numbers. It's where your faith is. So you may start off with, let me think of an edification. Like God could tell me, I see somebody, you're getting a dog next week, and the Lord has the perfect one picked out, and he wants you to know it'll be timid and relaxed when you go look at it. Well, that could be a word of knowledge. I'm just using that as an example. So it could be something very simple. But as you step out and you continue to do it, that's the key in growing in the prophetic. I just The acceleration that happens when you continually release it out of your mouth, it will grow. The God honors it. And as you step out in that prophetic thing, not knowing, not understanding all of it, he will be faithful in taking you to the next level. You may start in the prophetic in this class and then realize you're in the office of a prophet. And you may feel the mantle hit when I pray. Well, then you know if you feel it in the spirit realm, because the Lord showed me some of them are, are very specifically called to that office. If you feel it in the spirit realm, have a heavy weight on you, the Lord will clarify that for you as well. I just wanted to also break down the different types of prophets. Um, like I said, there's governmental, there's, you know, prophets assigned to certain regions. It's just there's so many different types. I don't even want to cover all that because we cannot cover all prophetic ministry in just six webinars. There's huge debates about different things as well. I just want to do some of the basic ones that I see operating and activating in most people. And the first one is a Nabi prophet. You, you feel a bubbling up. So if you're in your prophetic style is, this is not talking about just prophecy. This is talking about the office of a prophet. It bubbles up and you say, thus says the Lord. Da, 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 da. I guess you could say Bill Hammond. I guess he would be one that just once you start flowing, it just keeps coming, keeps coming, keeps going, keeps going. And you don't stop till you hear the Lord stop. It's like an overflow out of their spirit, man. It just connects with what God's saying and keeps pouring out. And you match your words. And, and one of the one of the things the Lord I've operated in both. I can now be prof, walk in the Nabi prophet role and also the seer prophet. But once the Lord stops, I stop. Even if it doesn't make sense when he stops. The, the key, if you walk in this and you start flowing in it and you just say, thus says the Lord, you're going here and this is going to happen. And, and he gives you great details, blah, 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 blah. And it's bubbling up out of you and you feel and stop. You feel the weight of that thing stop. Just stop in your tracks. Don't release anything else. Just 